Book three when you read the Bible. Are you aware of that? Who's that? Okay. Speak a little louder. They came and got me from down the subway. Right. Two times. I'm like, what is your guys doing? But But you know what, sister? You know what? Now's the time. Do something. Take me to jail. I don't have nobody to help me eat. Right. But you know what, sister? They're pulling up on me crazy. They're going to they go, they go try. The brother just told me that about 14, listen there. The brother just told me like 14, listen, 14 girls are missing in uh Washington, D.C. 14, about 25, about 50 girls are missing in D.C. So we in times. When they're going to try to lock you up, they're going to try to lock me up, they're going to try to lock a lot of us up. That's, that's the way the system is. You understand? Look up here. Look up. Read that. Read that. Read that. Listen, listen to what the Bible says. First Peter chapter 3, verse 1. What the Bible says. It said, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. See, now, the righteous, the righteous, the righteous will be protected. But the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. A lot of times, bad things happen to us because we're not living righteously. We're using yeah. drugs, yeah. you understand? We're stealing, we're lying, we're fighting. But the Lord says, read it again. For the eyes of the Lord, none is upon the, the righteous. You know what the eyes of the Lord are? His angels. His angels protect the righteous. So now you got to learn your nationality, who you are, and get rid of it. Like okay, but, but now, now, that you're not, you're not in jail now, right? Yeah. So now what you got to do, you got to put on what the Bible says. You got to start reading your Bible, you understand? You got to start living a different lifestyle, and then the angels will protect you. That's why I say, read it again. Verse Peter chapter 3, verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. See? The Lord said his eyes are over the righteous. Come on. And his ears and, are upon the prayer. And the Most High has ears. He hears. So when you pray, and you're living a righteous lifestyle, the most high will protect you. He'll keep the cops away from you. Because the cops are not on our side. The cops, their job is to protect the white people. The cops' job is to protect the people with the money. They ain't to protect you so-called blacks. You understand? They're trying to lock us up at a phenomenal rate. That's the cops. You understand? The cops are the enemies in these last days. Verse 3, verse 12. This stuff is for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, Come on. and his ears are upon their prayers. And his ears are on, the, on his prayers. And now it's time to pray, man. It ain't, it ain't about getting money now. It's not about fashion. It's about time. It's like in a time where prayer, that's your power now. You understand? But now you found. Most the Most High brought you here for a reason. Now you found that. The Most High's found you. Now you, Most High's directed you to find the truth. So you don't have to be lost. Come on. For the face of the Lord is against them. Now look at evil. Now the Lord changed you. He said, Now the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So if you're doing evil, meaning you living outside this book, and, I'm, and do, living life how you want to live life, the most high his face will turn against you. Then he'll give you over to the cops. Maybe the most high let the cops get you so you can come here to them. They meet us. Maybe the most high, maybe the most high, maybe the most high is trying to tell you something. Right, but, maybe, but maybe the Most High is trying to tell you yeah. something. Maybe you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. That's why I'm not. I'm like, I'm not doing that. There you go. That okay, stuff. there you go. I'm like, yo, I'm so bad. Okay, but now. I'm in the Lord. Okay, but the, hear what the Lord is saying. Read it again. That part again. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Come on. Verse 13. Come on. And who is he that will harm you? If you be followed of that which is good. Who can harm you if you follow that which is good? What's your name? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. The Lord said, who can harm you if you are a follower of that which is good? Matthew 10, 39. If you follow what's good, the Most High will protect you. You understand? You're going to see a lot of women get locked up. At one time, the cops only, mainly only locked up brothers. So-called black men and Hispanic men. But now, I see a lot of the cops slamming black women on the ground, punching black women in their face. Punching them and beating them while they're pregnant. Why are they pregnant? Why are they pregnant? Somebody's husband is trouble and shit. But now, now, so, but now the most high. Listen. 
Okay, this is what the law said. Read here. Read that. Chapter 10, verse 39. What? It said, uh, He that findeth his life shall lose it. You hear that? This is what the law said here, sister. Read it again. He that findeth his life shall lose it. You find your life in this world, you're going to lose it. It's not the time to be comfortable in this place. Now you got to be comfortable in the word of the Most High. You got to accept who they call Christ. As your king, we call him Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. There's power in the name Yahweh Shai. There's power in the Bible. There's power in what's written in the Bible. But now you find your life in this world as a Democrat or a Republican or a, a, a strong independent black woman. Most I don't respect that. Most I don't like those things. That's why he's saying this. Read that point again. That's you chapter 10, verse 39. Come on. Either finding his life shall lose it. You find your life in this world, you're going to lose it. This is all going to be destroyed. Most high gonna roast this place like a furnace. But before that, you're gonna see more police brutality. You're gonna see more killing. You're gonna see more destruction. You're gonna see all that. Because the, the, the Bible tells you, I think it's in the book of Zechariah, the police commit all kinds, do all kinds of wickedness, but hold themselves not guilty. You ain't gonna get that. Because the law of the Most High is slack, the Bible tells you. Come on. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. So you got to we, 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 we made that decision. We have lost our lives for the most high sake. And not to condition ourselves to be in this place spiritually. You understand? One more time from the beginning. Just get understand. Right. Matthew chapter 10 verse 39. You got to listen. Come on. He that findeth his life shall lose it. You find your life in America or as a black woman instead of an Israelite woman or a righteous woman. You're going to lose that life in judgment day. And you're going to suffer before America is destroyed. You're going to suffer before judgment day. You're not the only woman that's been locked up by the cops or grabbed up by the cops. You're not the only woman. You understand? These things are going to escalate and get higher and higher. It's not going to end. Come on. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. And that's what you got to do. Matthew 24, verse 10. It's now it's time to put on Christ. Now it's time to put on the most high. Now it's the time to change your ways and change your lifestyle. The Bible says, consider your ways, children of Israel. It tells you that. We have to consider how we live. You're not free. We are slaves in the white America or the white man's world. This is not your, this, this, this world as it is now is not fit for you so-called Negroes and Hispanics. It's not your world. It's not your kingdom. This is the white man's world. And his job is to function off of lies, hypocrisy, and evil. And the so-called black man, you have taken on all those traits. So our job is to show you what the Bible is actually talking about, what the Bible is dealing with. Because we have become wicked animals now in this, in this kingdom. Our women have become whores. The men have become beastly. So we all, we're so divided, the cops can march in your house, kick down your door, and, our, and arrest you. Read that real quick. Matthew chapter 24, right? Come on. And then shall many be offended. Read it again. And then shall many be offended. You know what a lot, a lot of people are offended at? What the Bible is talking about. Well, you have to a lot of people are offended at what the Bible is actually I'm talking about. To get somewhere. Also, many shall be offended at what? Righteousness, the spirit of Christ, the spirit of, of the Most High, the, the law, statutes, commandments. And then we come out and bring that out. A lot of people are offended. They don't want to hear the Bible. They don't want to hear the truth. So they're going to continue to suffer suffer and be brutalized by the Holy Spirit. Most eyes going to put the Spirit on the enemies to bring more hell on our people as time go on. It's not going to stop. It's going to continue until the day that this, this country is destroyed. So the righteous people are put back in their positions of power. It's not going to go away. We can drink, smoke, gamble, and think that all, all the pain and the sorrow is going to go away. It's not going to go away. The Most High is going to let this continue to escalate on and on and on until judgment day. The Lord said, in your afflictions, you're going to seek him early. In your pain and suffering, you're going to seek him early. Hold that for a minute and go, go to uh, Hosea. Hosea 4 and 6. Because you have rejected the most high knowledge, that's why you're being punished. That's why you're catching the heat you're catching. But the most high is showing you that there's a better way. You don't have to follow the American way. The American way is Satan's way. Donald Trump way, way is Satan's way. America is of Satan. Why you living here? Because my forefathers were brought here by thieves like you devil white people, and that's why I'm here today. That's why I'm here today. Bring out the truth according to the Bible. Read that real quick. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. What? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read it again. My people are destroyed 
So these are God's chosen people right here. And the Lord said they are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They're running to get knowledge from every source, every facet under the sun. But have they found the true knowledge? Have they found the truth of the Bible? Because that's what the superior knowledge is. The real knowledge is not in the colleges. The real knowledge is uh, are not in any institution in this, in this country. Because if it was, America would be a better place. America is the evil place. America is the real axis of evil. You understand? But America labels the countries outside of her as evil and as a threat. But when you check it out, America, that's the real threat. And the so-called black man and the people on the sign, they have become ignorant by following the ways of America. Read that again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Come on. Because they have rejected knowledge. The Lord said because the so-called Negroes, all the way down to the Hispanics, have rejected God's knowledge. Come on. I would also reject thee. He said he's going to reject us. So you want to know why the black man doesn't have power? It's because he rejected God. You want to know why the black man is oppressed? Because he rejected God. I don't speak English, sorry. What's that? I don't speak English. You don't speak English? I don't speak English. Where are you from? Belgium. Belgium? Yes. Well, you're going to have more terrorists in Belgium. You know what a terrorist is? You're going to see a terrorist in bombs. You're going to have that in Belgium. You're going to have that in Germany. You're going to have that in Sweden. Because the people in the Middle East, they're tired of the garbage coming from this country. You have policies that have been established and pushed in other countries. You know? Wicked devil. You understand? You have wicked people all that, that, that have been doing evil all over the world that are now being brought to judgment by the Heavenly Father. These are God's chosen people. These are the true Jews that the Bible is talking about. And religion and, 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 and holidays such as Easter and Christmas, those are all lies. They all deal with Satan in the most high season. Read what you got there again, Hosea 4, verse 6. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Come on. Because though I reject knowledge, Come on. I would also reject thee. So the Lord said he's going to reject these people. You understand? Until a certain amount of time. We like, we're in a time where these people are waking up now. Now they're accepting the knowledge of the Most High. Read the first verse. They're accepting the knowledge of the Most High because they see what's happening. Read that right there. Hosea oh, chapter 4, verse 1. Come on. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall, you children of Israel. Hear the word of the Most High. The word is the Bible. But now, are these people on the sign, are they really listening to the word of the Most High? Have they really been following the Most High? Have the Dominicans really read the Bible? Or are they following the white man? Have the Puerto Ricans really read the Bible? Or now are they following the white man? Because last time I looked, a lot of the culture that the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans follow, it comes from the so-called white man. Santeria. Santeria. And a lot of Catholic paganism. And Easter, which has nothing to do with the death of Christ, has nothing to do with the Bible, or pagan holidays. So the Most High wants you to separate from that. Most High don't like when you follow the holidays or what the white man gave you in America. It's a lie. Or the white Jesus. Where's that? Where's the, the white Jesus the devil? He was out here. You understand? That has nothing to do with the Bible. When the white man came to Puerto Rico and the Spanish, he forced this image on you. He gave you this lie. This is a lie. This is not nothing for Most High. This is a total straight up lie. Give me 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, I think it is. About the, uh, another Jesus. This has had nothing to do with the Most High. This is a blatant lie. But now, a lot of Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, you can't take this image away from them. From them. You can't take this out of their mind. They get very upset when you try to take this out of their mind. But when you read the Bible, you're the greatest people on this earth. But the white man, the devil, more than 400 years ago, he raided, ripped off, and robbed your islands. Stolen of its natural resources. King James, who was also a black man, by the way. We got pictures of King James. You understand? A lot of people that rule England want people of color. Do you know that? You understand? So King James, he just hired scholars to translate the Bible. He didn't change the Bible. But you got a lot of uh, ignorant black people that think that the Bible is a white man's book. King James is a white man. That's a lie. They don't know history. King James is a Bible. Our history goes deeper and further back than Africa. When you read the Bible, those are the so-called Negroes, only to the Spanish, are God's chosen people. We go further back than the West Indies. We are the same people that came through the Red Sea. We are the same people that were oppressed by uh, Pharaoh in Egypt. We are the same people that was led of Moses. You are great people. Check it out. Read that real quick. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. What? But if he that come and preach another Jesus. See, when the conquistadors and the Spaniards came to, came to you, the so-called Hispanics, they preached another Jesus. They didn't preach the Jesus that's written in the Bible because the Jesus written in the Bible was for you so-called Negroes and Hispanics. 
Acts at 11 and 4. It's the Jesus in the Bible, he was for you. He came and taught our people. And because we rejected his word, this is where we at now. All right, brother. Here's a take a flyer. You understand? The Jesus in the Bible is for you, brother. You got to start reading the Bible. Then, and don't celebrate Easter. You're not going to do that tomorrow, hope, right? Because Easter is a pagan holiday. It has nothing to do with God. It's something after the fertility God Ishtar. It has nothing to do with the Most High. You understand? But you're going to have a lot of brothers and sisters running around the earth dressing up, having Easter bunny uh, uh, find the egg contest. Bunnies don't lay eggs. So there has to be some significance to uh, bunnies and eggs from a pagan aspect. You understand? It's after for, uh, after a fertility god and a lot of fertility rituals are, uh, are, are associated with that pagan holiday. It has nothing to do with the Bible. Just like Christmas has something to do with the Bible, Mother's Day, which is coming up soon, has nothing to do with the Bible. But, but because we are so emotional, we won't, we won't detach ourselves from those wicked lies. We won't. Let me just read this for you before you read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Come on. For if he that cometh preach another Jesus. See, this is that other Jesus. Your forefathers didn't follow this Jesus. This is another Jesus physically, but also spiritually, you have been preached another Jesus. A Jesus that's died for the whole world, which the Bible don't say that. That's a completely misinterpretation about Jesus Christ coming for the, uh, coming for the world. He came to die for sin. Sin is transgression of God's law. The laws wasn't given to the whole world. It was given to the 12 tribes of Israel. So you needed someone to atone for your sins. Who was that? Jesus Christ. In the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shah. Read it again, brother. Good. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Come on. For if he that cometh preach another Jesus. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, come on. Whom he have not preached. Whom your forefathers didn't preach. Your forefathers didn't preach this Jesus. This is a lie. Come on. Or if you receive another spirit, see? And that other spirit is the white Jesus, Spanish. Religion, Catholicism, you was given all that by the enemy. The enemy destroyed the so-called Puerto Ricans. Now today the Puerto Ricans and the Dominicans think you're, the, you're different from the so-called blacks. Not all of you, but a good portion of you. But where do we all live? Right in the ghetto together. Jeremiah 50 verse 6. Okay, brother. We all live together. And you know who's laughing all the way to the bank? The wicked white man. All the way to the bank. Laughing at you so-called Negroes making fools of yourself. Laughing at you so-called Negroes being America's clown. Or the clouds of the world. But the truth will come out when you read the Bible, a lot of you gonna wake up. A lot of you gonna wake up when you read the Bible. A lot of you gonna wake up and smell the coffee and find out that America is not going on. It's not gonna go on forever. so-called black man or black woman. You are like the lost sheep that the Lord is talking about in the Holy Bible. No direction, no shepherd, no leaders, just walking up and down, just following your, your, pat, your, your feelings and emotions. That's the nature of a sheep. Read it again. Jeremiah 50 verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. The Lord said the true Jews, the so-called Negroes and Hispanics, have been lost sheep. Come on. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. And your shepherds, your false leaders, have caused you to go astray. You don't have any real leaders. Your leaders are entwined in the lives of America. And they have caused the so-called Negroes, as well as Hispanics, to go astray. Come on. They have turned them away from mountain to mountain. They have gone from the mountain to hill. They have gone from mountain to hill. In other words, you have gone from one government to another government, from one religion to another religion. Come on. They have forgotten their resting place. And your resting place is in the, in the Bible. Your resting place is in the culture that the Most High gave to you. The law, statutes, and commandments. The high holiness. Today you're following the heathens, the non Jews, such as the white man and the white woman, the Chinese man and the Chinese woman, East Indian man and East Indian woman. Today you're not following the culture. You're not following the, what the Bible says. You have forgotten your resting place. 
Matthew, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Well, Matthew 11, 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor. See, the old side said, Come unto him, all ye that labor. Come on. And are heavy laden, and will give you a rest. See, the, and the rest is in the most high. Those of you who are suffering, like that sister earlier that was here earlier, the most high is constantly showing her to come to the spirit. Come to what the Bible said. But she's crying about what the cops are saying. She's crying about how she feels, caught up in her emotions rather than coming to the Bible. Matthew 11, 28. Come unto me, all he that are labor or and heavy laden. That are heavy laden, come on. And I'll give you a rest. The most high said he will give you rest. The most high, he has the power to put burdens on you or give you yeah, rest. Verse 29. Take my yoke upon you. See, the most high says, take his yoke upon you, meaning this Holy Spirit. Let the most high guide you. You ever heard the Christian say, put it in the most high's hands. All your problems and what you're going through. You have to put those things in the Most High's hand. But today, the so-called blacks and Spanish, you put everything in the government hand. You put everything in man's hand. You follow the spirit of man. But the Lord said, read that part again. Take my yoke upon you. The Lord said, take my yoke upon you. Come on. And learn of me. And learn of the Heavenly Father. Learn of Yahweh Shai, who you call Christ. Get rid of this lie. Follow what the Bible's saying and wake the hell up. Come on. For I am meek and lowly in heart. The Lord said he's meek and lowly in heart. Meaning the most high, his spirit is welcome. The only time you might have a problem with the most high or will have a problem with the most high if you have a wicked spirit. If you have that rebellious spirit. If you have that Negro spirit. Or that Puerto Rican or Dominican spirit. The Lord don't want that. The Lord wants you to come back as Israelites. According to what the Bible said. For I am meek and lowly in heart. The Lord said for he is meek and lowly in heart, meaning in spirit. Come on. And you shall find rest unto your soul. And what? Find rest unto your soul. And you shall find rest, Micah 2 and 10, and you shall find rest unto your soul. But in America, you ain't gonna have no rest. In America, you're not gonna have any In America, you're not gonna have any satisfaction. In America, you're gonna have hell. In America, you're gonna have suffering. In America, you're gonna have pain. In America, you're gonna have boredom. In America, you're gonna have wickedness. And there's no rest in any of those things. The rest is in the Bible. The rest is in the holy comfort of which is the Holy Spirit. Not a man, but the Holy Spirit. Why do you trust the man? Read that. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Well, arise ye and depart. See, most I said, arise ye and depart. Depart from this lie. Depart from this lie. But well, this is not your rest. For well, America and the so called white man and the heathens of the nations. It's not your rest. Easter is not your rest. America will be destroyed. Trump will fail. America will be buried with nuclear fire. And we're glad. Read it again. But Micah chapter 2, verse 7. Well, Arise ye and depart. I said it. America will be burned. White people will be burned. Wicked people will be burned. And America is not the rest of the so called blacks. And Hispanics and the people on that side over there. Come on. And the part, but this is not your rest. Come on. Because it is polluted. And America is polluted. America is following every facet of evil. America is not clean. America is polluted spiritually with wickedness and boredom. America is polluted with lies and filth and evil. Read the from top of here. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise he and depart, but this is not your rest. Come on. Because it is polluted. So America is polluted, the Lord said. This is pollution spiritually. This is wickedness spiritually. America is polluted. Come on. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you. And America has destroyed the so called black man through boredom and religion. America has destroyed you, black women. You so called black men. America has destroyed you and brought you down to the gutter. America has brought you down to your lowest state, a base nature. A wicked nature, a filthy nature, a nature of homosexuality and being a lesbian. All those are filthy, filthy characteristics, and the Most High is going to destroy you and this place for it. One more time. Come on, come on. Arise, heat, and depart. Well, this is not your rest. Well, because it is polluted, and shall destroy you. And shall destroy you. Come on. 
even with a sword destruction. Even with a sword destruction. Matthew 24 verse 10 again. Even with a sword destruction. That's the future. Destruction, pain, misery, and sorrow. Trump ain't gonna make America great again. Trump gonna illustrate the power of the Heavenly Father when he destroys this place. When all your hopes and your prayers go down the drain. When more diseases increase and a lack of money hits this country. When fear is escalated, that's the future of America. That's the prophecy written in the Holy Bible. Follow the reading. Matthew chapter 24, verse 10. And then shall many be offended. See, and a lot of you are offended. When we come out here every week, a lot of you are offended. You know what you're offended at? The word of the Most High. Because we tell you women to put clothes on your body so that offends you. We tell you to stop being a homosexuals and lesbians so that offends you. We tell you to live a righteous lifestyle and that offends you. The word of the Most High and His Holy Spirit offends a lot of so-called blacks and Hispanics and supposed to so-called white people. It offends you. You can that thing. One more time. But, and then shall many be offended and shall, and be, shall betray one another. That's what you see. This is a society where men betray men and women betray women. In Washington, D.C., you have men betraying men and women betraying women. Countries are uh, betraying one another. It's all based on lies and falsehood. The most high sees it. And guess what? We're wise enough and spiritual enough to see it. The rest of it, you shake your head, but the spirit gonna come, it's going to manifest. A lot of those smug, ugly looks, they're going to be turned into tears because the Bible is real. Judgment is real. The most high sees it. Come on. And shall betray one, and shall hate one another. And shall hate one another. The spirit of hate, not love is in America. You see the spirit of hate. Women envying and hating another woman. Men envying and hating other men. Men envying and hating what a brother drives. Women hating and envying a woman because she has more hair than you. Or more money. Or more clothes. That's the spirit of America today. Come on. Verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise. And many false prophets shall arise. We see that now. We see that on a high level. You got storefront churches with false prophets teaching lies. And you got the big mega churches where preachers are driving 10 different cars, buying jets, having property with more than 10 rooms in there in the, in, in, on the property. What sense does that make? This is evil. You agree? Is that? I mean, I'm telling you, this is evil. It's an evil nature to be. This and this. What's that? It's not a fact. The Bible's a fact. Oh, well, the Bible's a fact. And this is filthy. This is not right. You understand? You don't care. It's not a fact. That's as far as it goes. But the Bible goes a lot deeper. The Bible goes a lot deeper. Read another verse again. The very first prophet shall rise. And start to see many. And many of you have been deceived by what? False prophets. False prophets who glorify America and refuse to judge America. A real prophet and man of the Most High is going to speak against this country. A real man of the Most High is going to say that women should not be in the pulpit. And that to be gay is a sin. And wickedness and it should have no part of the church unless you convert yourself. That's what a real prophet and man of the Most High is going to say. Well, verse 13. Well, but he that sh shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. See, Mosai says, but he that endure to the end shall be saved. Those who learn the truth of the Mosai, those who obey the truth of the Mosai, those who do what the word is saying and not just hearing it, all the way to the end shall be saved. The Christians say, I'm saved. They, go, they, they, they put one foot in the church and now they say. One foot in the church and now you say that's a lie. You have to know wow. the truth, obey the truth, conduct yourself in the truth, and, in, and endure in all three of those aspects until the very end. You have to deal with the trials and tribulations all the way to, to the end. That's a good soldier for the most high. That's a righteous soldier for the most high. But you got many that's not going to make it. Two thirds when you read the Bible got to be destroyed. Two thirds going to feel the blaze when America is burnt up. But one third going to walk through the fire of Osiris. Three process only is four and sixteen. One third going to be taken up in the chariots of the Most High. One third is going to be taken up in what the churches call a rapture. One third is going to be taken up according to the Bible. 
Who told you you gonna burn the hell up in here with your ignorance and your foolishness? And your homosexuality and your being a lesbian? Two thirds of you gonna burn up in all that. And it's gonna be a glorious day. Because the righteous and those who acknowledge what the Bible is saying, they're tired of this. They're tired of this. They wanna get out of this, this, this evil. They wanna live a righteous lifestyle. They wanna have the kingdom of God set back up. It's just a matter of enduring and holding on. Hold on, let me. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. Right. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. So the Bible says the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. Who you call Jesus Christ, he will come from the heavens according to the Bible. With thousands and thousands of angels to wreak war on his country. To put the wicked to death. To judge the unrighteous as well as the righteous. To bring death on the evil. That's what the Bible is talking about. When you read the Old Testament in Isaiah 66, Christ is not coming back in a good mood. Who you know as Christ. When you read the Bible, Christ, a so-called black man, is coming back very angry. But he's coming to deliver those people on the sign there who obeyed what the word said, who had no part or belief in the American lie, who chose to live a righteous lifestyle like we went through earlier. Hold on, let me read it again. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. Come on. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. So the Bible says the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. Come on. With a shout. With a shout. Come on. With the voice of the angel. With the voice of angels. Come on. And with the trump of God. With the trump of God. That's that final trump. When you hear that trump, you're going to know it's all over. That death and destruction is coming. And all you who have rejected God, who have rejected Christ, and walked back, back and forth and chose, chose to live a wicked lifestyle, or do things your way, you gonna remember all the times you heard us preaching out here. You gonna remember when you saw the brothers in different states teaching the truth. You gonna remember when the Bible was revealed to you in that day when that trump is blown, and great fear is gonna come out of your, it's gonna come in your mind. Great tribulation and fear of spirit is gonna come in your mind in that day. You gonna wish that you listened to what the Bible was saying. You gonna wish you heard us and then view us as crazy brothers teaching this word. You're going to see in that day. One more time from the beginning. Good. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven Come on. with a shout, Come on. with the voice of the angel, with the voice of the archangels, Come on. and with the trump of God. With the trump of God. Come on. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And all the people who died in the spirit of Christ the Most High, all the people who live righteously until they death prior to judgment day, the Lord said they're going to rise first to the Most High. They're going to rise first to what we call, or what the Bible calls the UFOs or the chariots of the Most High. You don't believe in stuff like that. You believe in the Yankees and the Mets and clothes and the Gap and Dunkin' Donuts. You don't believe in anything spiritual. Because America through TV and music has conditioned you to be dumb. America through music and TV has conditioned you to be a fool. America through music and TV has conditioned you to be wicked, whores, and evil to the Most High. It's going to deliver to all those who turn away from those things. Or all those, rather, who have enough sense to recognize evil from good. Come on. Good. Verse 17. Come on. Then we which were alive. Now the Lord said, then we which are alive, which kept the faith, which walked in the spirit of the Most High, which believed what the Bible was saying, which taught the Bible and labored in righteousness and in sincerity, then we which are alive, come on, and remain shall be caught up together with them. We're going to be caught up to, with the dead that rose in Christ first. We're going to rise up with the dead that was mentioned in this verse. That was caught up to the Most High and live righteously. We're going to be with our brothers who died in the faith. Come on. With them in the clouds. In the clouds. What the clouds are? The chariots of the Most High. Drop that. Go to, uh, hold that. Hold on. Hold on. To be the Lord in the air. See that? To what? To meet the Lord in the air. To meet the Lord in the air. Come on. And so shall we forever be with the Lord. See, that's what we hope before. To meet the Lord in the clouds. Isaiah 66, 15. Those clouds are the chariots of the Most High. That's what we hope for. To be delivered and receive salvation and meet our King, Yahweh Shai, who you know as Jesus Christ in the clouds of heaven. To meet him. But when the Lord comes back, what kind of spirit is he going to be in? What kind of posture or mind frame is the heavenly is the Lord gonna be in in that day? Read that real quick. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Four. For by fight, for behold, the Lord will come with fire. See? What the Lord's the Bible says the Lord will come with fire. 
So the person who we know as Jesus Christ, he's not coming back in a good mood. The Bible says he shall come back with fire. What's the fire for? To judge mankind. To judge mankind and to liberate those people on the sign there. To burn this place up. To bring hell and, and suffering on all the wicked. Those who turn their back on the Heavenly Father. One more time. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Come on. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. And with his chariots. There's those, those chariots again. With his chariots, meaning the vehicles of the angels. The Lord, the Bible says the Lord is going to come back with his chariots like a whirlwind. Meaning with great power. Great power. Come on. To render his anger with fury. To render his anger. When you render something, you give it out. When you render something, you dish it out. So the Lord said to render his anger. What is the Lord angry at? The wicked lifestyle that's conducted here on this earth. The evil that's conducted right here on this earth. So the Lord said he's going to render his anger. Come on. With fury. With fury. Come on. And his rebuke with flames of fire. Meaning the Lord coming back with fire. Ain't going to be a pretty day in the judgment day of the Most High. And a lot of you know it's real. You know there's no hope in this country anymore. So you shot, you get high, you get drunk, you have loose sex. You do anything to escape the reality of what's happening around you. That a change is coming. What's that change? The judgment of the Heavenly Father. That's that change that's coming. That's the change that's going to come. You think you're going to change your own lifestyle, you're not going to get very far. What's going to change everything? The Most High. That's what's going to change everything. Come on, from the beginning. Good. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. The Bible says the Lord shall come with fire. Come on. And with his chariots. Like a whirlwind. And like a whirlwind with his chariots, the Lord shall come back. Come on. To render his anger to what? and fury. To render his anger and fury. Come on. And to rebuke with flames of fire. And the Lord is coming back with fire. Remember that. The Lord is going to come back with fire. This is not going to be a pretty coming of the Lord. He's going to come back with fire to render his anger. Come on. But verse 16. Come on. For by fire and by the sword. The Lord said by fire and with his sword. By fire and with his sword. Come on. Will the Lord plead with all flesh. With all flesh. Not just the so-called wicked Negroes. Not just the so-called wicked Hispanics. The Lord said he's going to render his anger with all flesh. The so-called white man has flesh, or he's a part of flesh. The so-called Japanese, East Indians, and Africans, they all have flesh. The Lord is going to render his anger with all flesh. Come on. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And what? And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And in that day, the Bible says, the slain of the Lord shall be many. The slain of the Lord shall be many. A lot of you don't believe that. A lot of you think it's going to continue forever and ever. But the Lord, the Bible says, the slain of the Lord, Psalms 49, verse 11, the slain of the Lord, those who are killed by the Heavenly Father's Son shall be many in that day. In that day. You thought the World Trade Center was something bad? You think what's happening over there in the Middle East is bad? You think that war is bad? You haven't seen nothing till the Day of Judgment. When the Day of Judgment is manifested in this country and all throughout the world, you're going to know fear. You're going to know death. You're going to know the judgment of the Heavenly Father. You all know the truth in that day. Those of you who reject it, you're going to be in fear in that day. Hold on the real point. Psalm chapter 49, verse 11. Come on. The inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever. The Lord said the inward thoughts. What's a man's inward thought? His mind process or his thought process, how he thinks. And today, the powers that be that rule this world, mainly you white people, your inward thought is that this is going to continue forever and ever. It's not going to be an end to America. That's how proud America is now. America thinks that she can't be destroyed. Meanwhile, if you check history, all great empires were destroyed. All great empires fell at one time, like Egypt, and Rome, and Greece. All great empires fell at one time through the hands of the Heavenly Father. So what makes you think America is going to continue forever? What makes you think the Most High is going to tolerate this wickedness forever? The Bible is real, and God's judgment is real. But a lot of you don't believe the Bible is real. A lot of you think you're God. Or there is no God. Or you're above God. Or you believe how the white woman thinks. Or the white man thinks. I like when you smile and walk down the block. But then I like watching CNN when the bombs tear your behinds up. I like watching CNN when the Lord brings the pain of tidal waves and floods and tsunamis. 
then those then, then those smiles they disappear. Then you call, oh God, oh Jesus, oh God, have mercy. Then you call on God. Then you realize there's a God, but you're comfortable now. The little jobs you have, you're comfortable with that. But watch the spirit when God takes the jobs away. Watch the spirit when God brings the pain. Watch the spirit when the Lord judges this country. You see all types of hell in the Middle East. You see all types of hell in Europe. Wait till it comes to America. Wait till the most high brings the pain to America and you deserve it. You deserve it because you're proud, you're ignorant, you're stubborn, and you're rebellious. And you deserve the pain from the Heavenly Father. Paul, let me read it again. Psalm 49, verse 11. Come on. The inward thought is that the housing shall continue forever. The Lord said the wicked, you so-called white people, because you're the ones in control. The Lord said, you think that your houses that you stole and ripped off and robbed and now have established this country and now you call it America, you think it's going to continue forever. You're very ignorant. You're very ignorant. You have no clue what this Bible is actually talking about. You have no clue that those are God's chosen people that you brought here in slavery. You have no clue that the people you oppress in Haiti, in the Dominican Republic, in Puerto Rico, are God's chosen people who one day will rule over you white people, who will one day rule this world again. You have no idea. You think it's going to continue forever. Come on. And their dwelling places to all generations. And you think your dwelling places are going well, to continue to all generations. You're going to hand down this to your kids, and those kids are going to hand down the property and stolen land to their kids. But check it out. The youth today among the white race is not the same as it used to be. Not the same. At one time, your children had a conservative spirit. You conducted yourselves like the Republicans, and you maintained your power. But as time went on, a lot of the young youth are become weak. You're drug addicts and sex fiends, and you're into, uh, you're into all kinds of things other than what the Bible's talking about. You don't follow politics like you used to. In other words, the people who run this country, the thieves and the robber barons, they have no one to pass down what they stole in the past. They have no one to pass that down to because the so-called white America has become weak and weak and the Arab nations, they see it. The Arab nations, they know it. They see the weakness of America. Anytime you have women running as presidents, that's a sign of weakness. When you have women in your military, that's a sign of weakness. When you give homosexuals and gays the right to get married, those are signs of a weak country. They say you can judge a country by her children, by the state of the children. What state are the children of in this country today? Are the children obedient in this generation? Oh, they go to uh, prop, drop that rather, go to Proverbs 30, verse 11. Are the children, not just our children, the so called blacks and Hispanics, but white children? Are they obedient? Are they focused? Are they attuned to what's happening in these last days? Compared to the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and even the 60s to some extent? No, they're not. Because today, America and this world is on her last leg, and God sees it. God sees it, and guess what? We see what God sees for the most part. Read that real quick. So, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 10, right. verse 11. Proverbs 30, verse 11. There's a generation that cursed their fathers. The Lord said there's a generation that cursed their fathers. They don't respect the fathers today. The youth don't respect the fathers. Most, have, most households are falling apart, or if you have a mother and father in the household, they're workaholics. If you have a mother and father in the household, they're on some type of drugs to keep them working. Or they're seeing a shrink or a psychologist just to make it in society. Why is that? Because America has become weak. Mankind has become weak and has turned from God, has turned from what the Bible is talking about. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 11. Come on. There's a generation that cursed their fathers. So the Lord says, a generation that cursed their fathers. Don't respect their fathers. Don't learn manhood from their fathers. Don't learn to be responsible from their fathers. They have cursed their fathers. Come on. And does not bless their mother. And does not bless the mother. You know why? Because a lot of the mothers today are whores. A lot of the mothers today are sluts. A lot of the mothers today 
dress like whores and sleep around. That's the nature of women today in this country. Yes, we do. A lot of a lot of visitors from foreign countries say they would never associate or deal with an American woman in this country. Through feminism and being a lesbian and 